Hey guys, this is Voltage, and welcome back to my Troy Trophy Case campaign. Last episode, I acquired large swaths of land through a bunch of rapid holy wars. And now I'm at war with the Safarids because they have giant event troop stacks and ridiculous power. So, this episode will be about dealing with that. Can I get any more lovies? Not really. 28 more guys. Okay, so... These guys can... Run over here. I'm going to invite a couple of holy men to court. And give them bourbon and cement. As, well, cleaning up from my last holy war that was successful. Then, can I raise my centralization rather? Not yet, but I can up legalism. So, now I can! Excellent. Okay. Wait for that to go through. And I need to keep these mercenaries as long as possible, so let's ransom some prisoners. Oh look, help. Thank you. Please follow my stack. That's not following my stack. Okay, I'm going to risk it and send them this way to avoid attrition. Check the terrain on these provinces. I should walk into that mountain province. Do I have a combat mod? No, I have 19 martial and no combat modifier. How does that work? They're walking that way, so I walk this way. 2nd of December... December... Come on, work. Wait, 11th of January. 4th. Excellent. Meet these stacks up. 
That is a desert province. Okay, my best option here is to attempt an assault. Come on, work! Yes! Okay, now I'm out of money, so I need to drop the mercenaries. But I just slaughtered most of his army. Excellent. And now I'm getting defensive ticking war score. And I just inherited a title. What did I just inherit? I don't want that. Here, you can have that. Really? Yeah, I don't think the Svarids can attack me fast enough to stop that ticking war score. So, I'm just going to let that happen. Well, I go pummel some tribals. Okay, I am at 100% war score with the Safarids, but I want to stay at war with them so that I can basically hijack these turrets. And that's done with. So I'm just going to offer a white piece to the uh, Druids and enforce demands on the Safarids. Okay, that actually worked. Excellent. Now they're basically required to sit here for 10 years and not touch me. Yeah, there's still this Zoroastrian uprising going on. How is that going, by the way? 74% in favor of the Zoroastrians. Awesome, I might be getting an ally. And you're stupidly vulnerable at the moment. And just gave me a ton of gold. Um, is the Caliph occupied? No, he is not. I could... Mm, potentially, it might be worth it for me to risk attacking the Safarids, but if the Caliphate gets involved... Uh... I don't think they'll get involved if I don't have a border with the area I'm attack. If they don't have a border with the area I'm attack. I'm gonna risk it. Holy War for Corson. Did I possibly arrange, like, a... No, I did not. That would have been nice. And I can't remember if I pulled that off, but I was wondering if I had arranged some kind of succession marriage with them. Okay, as long as the Caliphate doesn't get involved, 
he shouldn't be able to do anything to me because he has no money and I just slaughtered his army. Yes, you can become a zealous Zoroastrian. Zealotry is good. It gives me more soldiers. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, the Caliph cannot hop in on this war because he doesn't border the duchy I'm attacking. So his AI won't let him jump in on it. I might be wrong about that, though. I have another daughter. Awesome. That Zoroastrian uprising is continuing to kick the Samanids' butt. <laughs> Castle captured, move on to a city that's much less fortified. How are your levies coming along? They're not. And you have a Buddhist revolt that's beating you. That's great for me. Yes, you can be kind. Really? How many soldiers do you even have? Okay, you have more than the Safarid Shah. That's hilarious. But you do not have enough to fight me. Especially if the Justinids jump in again. Which I'm kind of hoping they do. Oh look, the Justinids! Yes, you should help me! Praise Ahura Mazda! Go fight them for me. You should be able to handle that. And hey look, the... Samanids are about to be completely and utterly destroyed because a Zoroastrian uprising just took over like half of their kingdom. Including a holy site, by the looks of it. Sweet. And a peasant revolt just took another what, half of what was left. So the Simonid Shadam is now a glorified county. Really? Really, Khalif? Well, at least that means they're not stopping me from taking course on, which is what I really care about. Will you agree to a white piece? Yes, you will. You will jump in against the Caliph. Awesome. Yes, you should be temperate.
and oh look, an 8K stack. That's not walking in the right direction to be a threat to my main stack. Oh! Now the Zoroastrian revolt wants to help me. That's like a whole another 400 soldiers. It'll be more once the recently conquered modifiers wear off. I'll take everything I can get. Um, I can afford another mercenary band. Let him take his time. I really wish the Caliph would assault some of these holdings. That would be so great for me. Or if I could get to these mountain provinces, I could... Um... Yeah, I would like to sit, like, right here. Why are these provinces not considered mountains? Actually, I'm gonna sit here. Or, now nah, I'll just go attacking. That's a mountain province. Why are you moving? I need you over here. 23rd, 8th. Stupid. Why did you move? I needed you. I'm gonna go ahead and surrender to the Caliph. Because he's an ass. And go fight the Savaris. Also, I think I've sufficiently nerfed the Sephardids to the point where I should be shifting my attention to Damascus, or Mada, or why is your capital here? Shouldn't it be in Damascus? Well, I need to go now, so... This is Voltage, signing off.